and I call the member for Ford. Well, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and uh, I'd like to follow up on the comments from the member for Wright uh, a few minutes ago about the uh, report in the AFR today about the abuse uh, that principals receive. Uh, I know firsthand, Mr. Deputy Speaker, from recently meeting with a number of my school principals. I would say on a daily basis. Uh, but equally, Mr. Deputy Speaker, uh, the teachers cop that in the classroom from the kids and at times also from the parents. And as the member for Wright has quite rightly said, enough is enough and it's got to stop. I had the instance in a discussion with a school principal the other day where this school principal had to suspend a child in grade two for vaping. And the abuse that this principal copped from the parents for suspending the child was just outrageous and completely and utterly uncalled for. So I want to take this opportunity, Mr Deputy Speaker, to say thank you. Thank you to the principals at our schools. Thank you to the teachers. Thank you to the administration staff for the outstanding job that they do each and every day educating the next generation of Australians. And all of us in this place stand here because of the value of education and the work and effort and time our principals at our schools, that our teachers and the administration staff at those schools were prepared to put into us. And we see that each and every day in every school across my electorate and right across the country. So I want to say to all of those, thank you very much for your efforts. It's greatly appreciated. And I thank the member. In accordance with Standing Order 43, the time for member statements has concluded and I call the clerk. Private members oh. business, notice number five, kids helpline. Motion to be moved by the member for Ford. Call the member for Ford. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And I move the motion relating to kids helpline in the terms in which it appears in the notice paper. Mr Deputy Speaker, one of the great organisations in our community is your town, an organisation which has been helping young people realise they have the ability to tackle whatever life throws at them since 1961. With services including Kids Helpline, Parentline, Domestic and Family Violence Support, Mental Health Support and Employment, your town understands that every young person in Australia deserves a safe place to be where they are respected and free to be themselves without judgment. In particular, your town has been providing free professional counselling and support 24 hours a day, seven days a week for children and young people aged 5 to 25 in Australia through its Kids Helpline service since its inception in 1991. Kids Helpline's provision of professional free counselling support ensures equality for all children and young people, regardless of their location or their circumstances. In fact, Kids Helpline is the only service of its kind in Australia which is free to all children and young people. They describe themselves as being the national wellbeing and mental health safety net for children and young people, which I find quite an apt description, Mr Deputy Speaker. This statement is further cemented when you delve into their facts and figures. Over its past 32-year history, Kids Helpline has responded to over 8.6 million calls for children and young people. Unfortunately, Mr Deputy Speaker, as I'm sure we all know in this place, these calls have only increased in frequency over recent years. Lockdowns over the past few years have exacerbated communication and social issues for young people. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on, men on the mental health of young Australians is evident through the increased demand for support, with Kids Helpline experiencing a significant surge in calls. On the 2021-22 financial year, over 443,000 contacts were made to Kids Helpline. Every 71 seconds, a young person reaches out to Kids Helpline for support. Just, sadly, just one in three can be answered. More than 50 per cent of these callers now require counselling when they were previously referred on to external supports. It, this is first-time counselling calls that have been the predominant form of call-in in Kids Helpline in entire history, an astonishing statistic. As with many other health and wellbeing networks, Kids Helpline has established a number of virtual assistance resources, which not only include their counselling and crisis support services and ongoing case management, but importantly, 
Mr Deputy Speaker, peer-to-peer -peer support, early intervention sessions with schools and self-help resources through their website and the Niggle app. These online resources have proved to, to be invaluable, particularly as a result of the pandemic. Your town CEO, Tracy Adams, and her team have clearly made and continue to make incredible progress in addressing the mental health needs of children and young people who contact Kids Helpline in trying circumstances. However, to meet this demand and the expected increases in the future, your town needs further support. The previous coalition government provided $26.8 million to Kids Helpline in 2021, including an immediate $2.8 million to deal with the impacts of the pandemic as part of our broader commitment to mental health, and, and since then demand for this service has continued to rise. That is why today, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm calling on the federal government to step up and assist your town in supporting the further growth of the Kids Helpline services in order to meet the ever-increasing demand for support. Such a commitment is vital to ensuring children and young people have someone in times of deep stress to support them. With calls at record highs, there are still too many young people unaware of the services Kid Helpline provides and are sadly missing out on highly beneficial help and guidance. I want to encourage all members and senators in this parliament to continue to raise awareness of this, the important services available to young people through Kids Helpline 24-7. They can reach the service by calling 1800 551800 or online through kidshelpline.com.au. For everyone watching and listening, I encourage you all to donate and assist your town in their fundraising efforts, and you can do so by contacting yourtown.com.au. Thank you to everyone at Kids Helpline for the tremendous work you do for our community. I thank the members. Uh, is there a second?